Welcome to my daily reports market analysis videos with me Richard Perry market analyst at Handtech on Monday the 12th of October. We're looking at a, a little bit of a mixed outlook today. There, there was a significantly dollar negative move that we saw on Friday. The markets are still very much focused on how um, the US uh, fiscal support um, agreement is coming through, signs that they're getting closer on the two sides, um, seemingly as though that the White House is actually pushing for some sort of agreement in front of the, uh, in front of the election, um, presumably so that it can sort of go into that election saying, that, look at what we did. But um, the Democrats are sort of not necessarily all that close, um, still question marks around that, but markets are also playing on the fact that Biden is um, has a at least it's well poll of polls about a ten percent lead on Trump at the moment, so that tends to be seen as um, more risk positive because it um, reduces the likelihood of a contested election, and also that means that the uh, if that were to be the case, the Democrats could have a blue sway and uh, get their all their COVID nineteen um, fiscal support program through that they want, um, so that could mean more fiscal spending. So subsequently, the dollar falls away and uh, risk appetite is positive and that's seen on Friday. A bit of a kickback against that today, nothing too significant yet but uh, certainly on euro uh, sterling and also the uh, risk currencies as well. Um, although at the moment it's just unwinding a little bit of that selling pressure that we saw on Friday. Interesting that gold has just slipped back. It was about sort of 0.4, 05 this morning. Um, just hanging around that 1920 mark. I'll talk about the technical implications of that in a bit. But uh, yeah, some interesting moves nonetheless. Now, today is Columbus Day in the States. No data, no central bankers, no nothing really. Um, bond markets are shut. Equity markets are open. Um, and... Uh, with that in mind, you have futures in the US, which are 0.3% higher on S&P E-minis. Um, so yeah, um, European markets are basically sort of trading around the flat line. Now, in terms of my chart of the day, uh, Euro Yen, interesting actually, because I sort of found this chart um, when I was looking very early this morning and it's sort of still holding on to this uptrend now that uh, euro yen has sort of got a little bit euro corrective in the in the meantime so it's dropped back but interestingly back to now this 124.40 pivot line look at the number of times that is a basis of support and resistance in recent months breaking out last week sort of then eventually holding the breakout Thursday Friday back to basically right bang on that level now is that a buying opportunity would be the question yeah you've broken that uptrend on a on the daily chart but the hourly chart shows that uh, the uptrend is a bit shallower not yet broken and um it's basically just unwinding this um euro back to an area where you could be looking for buying opportunities so 24.40 on euro yen is an opportunity potentially if, if this is going to continue down the risk positive mark um then i think we're going to be seeing that euro yen will be pulling higher. It'll be f pulling back to test the 2510 level of uh, resistance from Friday and then beyond towards the upper reaches of what is essentially a trading band, really, 2235, 2705. But uh, bang in the middle of that um, band pretty much is 2440, so it's a basis of support. So uh, we are looking for improving momentum indicators, although those stochastics are sort of starting to roll over a touch. But aside from that, tends to be seen that these, these momentum indicators are improving so you'd want to see the RSI above 50 to really suggest that that is going to continue to drive positive momentum for the top of the of range around 27 figure. So it could well be that today turns out to be a, a really significant uh, crossroads moment. Um, again closing back underneath 2440 would be a bit of a disappointment now wouldn't it? I think back underneath the reaction low from early last week 2385 would be certainly confirming that the bulls have lost that control once more. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars and click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.